what you're looking at here is the new heads-up display from Hancho, and it's pretty cool. There's so many people who were uh, complaining that the Tesla Model 3 or Teslas don't have the heads-up display. Um, on this one you can actually do it yourself and it's pretty easy. You see this is the control unit and you got a screen here which is mirroring on this glass here. Pretty much the same as you will find in any car where they have the glass either on the windscreen uh, with the screen down here projecting up towards it or like in some cars where you have it in front of you like a glass standing up here and you got the projection going up. Everything here is the same. Um, you got most of the functions you need. You can see you have the state of the car, you have the state of charge, you have the kilometers per hour and the gear selector. You also got your indicator. Um, when you start the car, you will see it goes into ready mode. Um, also talked to the guys at Hand Show and they said, do you think it's missing something? I said, yeah, maybe navigation. Navigation would have been cool. And they say, okay, why not? So I think maybe that will be like a upgrade, a firmware upgrade you can do. Because everything is connected, like I showed you in the intro on the unboxing, it's connected with USB. If you are interested, you can get this one 10% discount if you follow the link in the description. So installing this one is pretty easy. It's um, really straightforward. You got two connectors, which is tapping into the canvas. Um, it's really easy to get in there. It doesn't need any skills or tools to get there. And you also need to connect it to power. Now, as I will show you, this one is made for the newer cars. Uh, I think it's from build date from December. 2019 and onwards they have the OBD2 port. It's located in the top in the footwell of the driver. So what that does allows you to get the 12 volt connection. So this one comes with the OBD2 plug and you put it in there and you got your power. Now the other two you need to tap into the canvas and it's really easy as well. You find the canvas connector which is on the far side from you into the footwell is that's the one closest to the firewall you turn your car off and you disconnect that one take it out because it's re because it's easier to handle it when it's disconnected then you just take your clamps which you're going to tap into the wire and you locate on the side towards you the purple and the blue that's the first row and you got a green one you got a purple one and then you got a blue one. That's the one you want to tap into. So like I'm showing you here, you tap in and you're good to go. That's it. And if you're lucky, you have the OBD2 and you just push that in. And then you put the wires, just flush them here inside of the trim and you're good to go. Well, you are going to see the wire here, but that's needed because it needs the power and the signals. It's it's not gonna do it uh, wireless, so... Um, this one is just mounted with a silicone pad, you can see. Just like the ones you used to mount your phone in all the cars and stuff. So this one you can place pretty much where you want it. So you can have it over here or here. If you don't have the newest car, you have three options. One of them is not as good as the other ones, but here they are. Um, the first thing you gotta do is disconnect the OBD2 port. There's two small screws and you just screw them out. When you come in there, you can just solder off the wire or you can just cut it off. You got a red one and a black one. That's the 12 volt. You take another piece of red and black wire and you extend it. So you either solder them together or use some quick clamps or something just to connect them together. In the other end, you need to have two terminals. Those two terminals, you put it on the 12 volt and you put it on the ground. Where you find that 12 volt is up to you and where you find the ground is up to you. But as I mentioned, it's up there in the footwell of the passenger side, really easy to get to and you just have to fish the cable on top on, of the uh, center console under the dash. Now connect that and everything is good to go. The second option, you can use 
the 12 volt from the center console you have that cigar lighter thing that is 12 volt if you go to any shop and just buy an extender and you cut the cable then you can solder or connect them together with this device now that option isn't as good as the first one now you may have noticed there's a usb there okay so you might want to plug it in the usb that's the third option you can just plug it in the usb but be aware it's not going to be as bright and it's not going to shine as good especially in the daytime you will have a hard time to see it because it's only five volts that screen is made to operate on 12 volts so it wouldn't be the same cool thing okay so let's talk about the unit and how it is so after i installed it i was like ah i don't know i don't like it because i'm so used to looking at the center screen so my eyes were always dropping down there even though they were always on that head because it's in my face you know so after a couple of days i started to looking more at it and i started to like it and um, the more i have it there the more i use it the more i like it it's really like a good addition to the center screen your eyes are on the road and it's not that far of a travel for your eyes to go to that hub in front of you than it is to the screen just to the right of you but then again it is pretty much up to you what you think um, and some say it will break the design the cleanness of the car others say it's really cool you know so i'm not going to judge for you you have to be the judge yourself uh, all I can say is that the unit is working as intended and if they're also going to do the firmware upgrade where you can have the navigation come on the screen here also the autopilot maybe high and low beam icons here so you get more information there and because right now you have the state of charge and you have the speed you're traveling in you got the gear selector and you also got your indicators and the status of the car. So if I power it on, you will see it's ready to go. Yeah, so that's, you have what you need, all the basic things, but when I'm sitting driving, if I can put it in my perspective, it will look like this. So this is what I see. It's really hard to capture this on camera because um yeah cameras and the frequency of the screen and that kind of stuff it's not really adding up to it but i'm telling you it's it's pretty neat and it doesn't look that clumsy or stuff of course it would have been cooler if you can just have this part angled here and have this glass uh, attached to the uh glass or something but now we're talking really really expensive really hard to do stuff so if you want a heads up, I think this is a really good solution. And the best thing is you're gonna get 10%. If you follow the link in the description of the movie, you will also see there's a coupon code there. Use that one and you get 10% off this one. And this is the first video of this one in the world. So, so like I mentioned, um, I'm not gonna be the judge of the design or what, what you might think i talked to several people having teslas and they some of them say nah too too much here you know too much um, stuff there and others say wow that's just what the tesla needed you know so i think it's pretty divided some some just absolutely want it and some just like yeah i don't know um yeah but i, I think it's cool i kind of like it and the more i use it the more i like it because it's there, it's so much more accessible for me to see the speed I'm going in. But I really wish they will add on those extra features like the navigation, um, the high low beam, and also the autopilot st status. It's good as it is. And if you want a heads up display, this is the way to go. And I also mentioned you can just put it wherever you want. Okay, so first thing you gotta do to remove this panel and also loosen up this panel here and you only need a pry tool to do it is quite easy so we're just going to pry off this one and also this one just remove that um, 
just pushing that all weather seal here. Um, that's holding this one in place. And there's a clip up here. So that's basically it. So inside here, you can see this standard clip. You just lift it out and pull it out. It's the same thing you have everywhere on the Tesla. So you probably have some of these tools lying around. Then just grab behind the mat here. Yeah. We can open up this cover. And this triangular shape here, we have to take that off as well. And it's clipped behind here. You can see there's a clip up there and one down there. So the plug here, the one who's further back, the gray one, is quite big. There's that's pretty much it.